In part two of our road stakeout series, we'll be focusing on the stake surface option using Magnet Field 3.2. First we need to set up our occupation. To do this we go into setup and then backsite. Simply select your occupation and your backsite point and enter in your instrument and target heights. And then hit next. Ensure you set your circle to azimuth. And once you are locked on to the prism, simply hit measure. And you can look at your backsite results to ensure they are within the accuracy requirements for the job at hand and simply hit the home button and you'll go back to the main screen. From the main menu we go into stake and then surface and we've got three options we can either stake a surface, an elevation or a road. In this first example, we'll stake out the surface that was previously created by simply hitting the page symbol and then selecting the surface. And then we can go into the magnet symbol and then help. And this will explain the features in the stake surface routine. One good one is a create surface option. And we will tick use alignment. So we can use this for our trainage and offsets when staking out. We can Double check that we're using the correct stakeout report by hitting the three dots under stake report and we can view we can view the items in the configuration. We can also set up a reference center line by going to the magnet symbol set up reference center line and we will tick use reference center line and we'll change from code to line work. And we'll hit the map symbol and we'll select the line work as our reference center line. In this case, it is the gas line to the left of the road. And once you are happy, simply hit the green tick and you'll go back to the stake surface screen. Simply hit next. Because you hit use alignment, it'll prompt you for the road containing the alignment. And then simply select it and hit the green tick. Once in the stake surface screen, we can change the four display options down the bottom by selecting one and choosing a different option from the list. This is completely customizable for the user. Once you have found the option you want to use, simply hit the green tick. And we can also hit the page symbol with the tick on the right hand side to bring out the properties. And in this screen, we can select or deselect items that we want to see on the screen. In this case, we will select point codes so we can see the string code. You can also change the point number by going up into the magnet symbol and then initial point name and change the name and the code. Now, as we can see on the screen, as you're going along the surface and you go into a different triangle of the DTM, it will highlight the current DTM triangle that you are reading from. You'll notice on the left hand side the cut and fill bar will go totally green once you are within your tolerance of 20 mil. And once you are happy with your position, simply hit measure and we can scroll down the data and we can see all the offsets to your center line, whether you're in tolerance or not, and your reference center line change and offset. We can hit the mark button and we can see the cut and fill and what you have to mark on your stake. And once you're happy, hit the green tick. Once we have staked out that position, we'll move to the next. We'll notice here the triangles change color from green to blue. This is because we've now gone into the next interval down. So below a meter is green and above a meter is blue as represented by the cut and fill bar and the screen. And we can simply stake out another point on the surface when you're happy with your change and offset. And again, you can look at the data and mark as required. Once you're happy, hit the green tick. And now we'll go back to the stake surface screen and we will tick create surface. If we go into the magnet symbol and then help, it explains the two different options with create surface. And in this example, we're using cut and fill. This is what you would use if you were doing an as constructed survey of the road at different stages of the road 
creation. Then we simply hit next. Again, it will ask for the road because use alignment is and then hit the green tick. It will ask for a new surface name. In this case, road as gone. We'll hit the green tick. This means every point that we stake out for now on in will be used in a surface. You require a minimum of three stake points before you can create a surface. This can also be used for comparing volumes in the software on the fly. So in this example, we'll simply start staking our surface. Once you're happy over the first point, you can simply hit measure. And then again, you can look at your data and mark screens. And once happy, hit the green tick. And then simply move over to the second point to be staked out. And hit measure. And once you're at your third point, simply hit measure. And once you hit the green tick, we can see a surface being created as we walk around, represented by that light blue coloration in that triangle between the three points that were stored. And if we hit measure on the fourth point and hit the green tick, we can see that the surface is being created behind us with the colour contours defining the cut or fill elevation difference as we are staking out the surface. Once you have finished doing your stake out and you hit back or the home button, it will come up with the surface volume between your design and the new surface that you were staking out. And you can hit the report symbol on the bottom left to save this report out as a text file into an appropriate location. Now if we go back to the stake surface screen, we will now change to staking out a road surface and to do this we simply hit on the surface and change it to road and we'll select the road from the list and we'll untick create surface in this example and we'll go next. As we can see here there is no surface so we can't see any triangle mesh on the screen but we can still see the cut and fill bar on the left hand side. You could use this option rather than creating a surface from the strings. And once you are happy with the point you can simply hit save data and mark information and hit the green tick and once you have finished staking out the road surface you can hit back and go into the magnet symbol and go view report or well, you can do this from the stakeout screen as well by going to the magnet symbol and view report and we can see here all the stakeout points and their miscloses and once you're done simply hit back and we'll hit the home symbol and we'll go back to the main screen and this concludes part two the road stakeout series